Meet Eddie. He is 29 years old and lives in the trendiest part of London, Shoreditch, where the party never stops. Eddie loves the party. <laughs> He's charming, arrogant, and so not funny. Eddie is a bus driver. <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Eddie is an educated bus driver with a first class degree. Well, 15 years ago, Eddie made an uneducated mistake. And today, <laughs> right now, it has returned to change his life forever. <laughs> Oi, Justin Bieber, what's your name, sir? I don't have it. Well, you can't get on the bus, duh. He's on the 16th, so it's free anyway. If you don't have an oyster, you can't get on the bus. Do you understand? I ain't dumb. Uh, listen, bro. I'm not your bruv. <laughs> Alright then, blood. I'm not your blood either. I hear what I'm saying, fam. I ain't your fam. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a walking asbo. <laughs> your criminal record's probably longer than my CV. Get off my bus, man. This ain't even your bus. <laughs> the wheels in the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. <laughs> First class degree. What have you got? What? A tag around your ankle? Oh, okay, okay. So, what's your degree in? How to get from Liverpool Street to Hoxton? <laughs> oh, round of applause for the smart bus driver. Oh, you must have the best luck with the lady. <laughs> oh, no comebacks, bro. No comebacks, bro. Oh. <laughs> I feel sorry for your parents. What? You heard. I know it, fam. I know it. Cool, fam. She's not even worth it. The youth of today are a lost cause. No respect for their elders. Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Truth. 
Hi, I'm here to see Evelyn. You are? Mr. Saunders. Pardon? I'm Mr. Saunders. <laughs> Let me guess, you must be Evelyn. Uh, are you sure? Uh, look, I'm here to personally clarify, I have no kid. Thank God. <laughs> I'll wait in the car. <laughs> uh, can you please confirm your number and address? 0748961528. Uh, address? <laughs> what is this? I do have enough stalkers. Just procedures. Forty-seven more sheet. Oh, uh, please come in. Why do you think you are here, Mr. Sanders? Oh, 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 I go to buy ice cream. Does the name <laughs> Snap the Guns ring any bells? Mr. Sanders, do you know a Samantha Burns? Nope. Are you sure? Positive. Uh, this is your name and signature, correct? <laughs> yeah, this is all a misunderstanding. I can sort it out. Yeah. You are his legal guardian. That can't be possible. It's very possible, and it's only possible if you gave consent. I was doing her a favour! Why did you sign your name if you knew the child wasn't yours? I was young. I loved her. We all do dumb things when we're that age. Oh, putting your name on a birth certificate, knowing full well that the child isn't yours, is frankly idiotic, Mr. Sanders. Wait, Samantha, yeah. right? I can sort this all out. Well, you can't, I'm afraid. We can't track her down. Sonny has been living by himself for at least a week now. A week? Oh, that is fine. Oh, come on. <laughs> Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, that's all you need. See, I mean, he's sorted, not my problem. Well, actually, it is. This is ridiculous. <laughs> have been found. He's really actually a sweet kid, you know. A sweet kid? In this day and age? <laughs> In these situations, we always urge the parents to at least give it a try. Why don't you try talking to him? About what? I believe it's good so that the child doesn't know he's abandoned. Listen, if he doesn't feel abandoned after a week, then me talking to him is pointless. I'm sure he will have some questions. Okay. If I do this, will you leave me alone? Yes. If that is what you would wish for the boy, then of course we would have to find alternative housing for him. Oh, well, I'd like to make that wish now. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Where? Where? Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this must be a joke! 